Hey folks, I am Laszlo from Gimlet.io and in this video we are going to start combining things. So it's pretty cool. If you remember, last time we deployed a dummy application or test application on an ingress controller with SSL certificates and today we are going to make it a protected app, meaning we are going to place a social authentication through GitHub in front of our application. The app needs no change uh, and you will have GitHub authentication on top of it. It's pretty neat, pretty handy. If you have an internal application, you can throw this uh, authentication proxy in front of it and it requires barely two lines of configuration. So let's get started. So to achieve this functionality, we are using an open source component called OAuth2Proxy. And as always, we are going to install it uh, through the Gimlet dashboard and it's going to be placed into our GitOps repository. But uh, first, let's uh, revisit our application. If you remember, we had two apps actually, uh, two instances of the same uh, config. We are going to protect test app two dot production gimlet io uh, with this uh, authentication uh, component. And as a recap, uh, this app is very simple. It's just a simple nginx container doing nothing. But it's an app it's on SSL, it's on a domain, so it's just good enough for us to test further. Let's start installing OS2 proxy. As you can see, there is always like a, an explanation text and there is always a config tab in this uh, view. So let's first enable the component and start filling out the fields. The first one is simple. First, we have to provide a random seed for our cookie uh, secrets. There is already a comment here, which I can just uh, uh, type here and use this secret as a base for my cookies. So they will may be secure because of this. The remaining uh, fields are about our GitHub uh, setup. And we also have to make an auth app for this to work. So uh, let's fill the parts that we can fill out right now. Uh, we are going to allow people who are part of the Gimlet organization. So me and my colleagues will be able to use this app. You, internet visitor, you will be not able to use this app. GitHub user is uh, basically, if I just want to allow a uh, list on just myself, that would be Laszlo CPH. And we have to make a GitHub auth application for this to work. In the getting started guide, uh, there is a link to the GitHub guide, like how to make an auth app, but I'm pretty sure you have done this before, or if not, there is the guide. Otherwise, in the settings, uh, in uh, developer settings, you can find the auth application section and I can create a new auth app. I'm going to name it um, auth 2 proxy demo and homepage URL and authorization callback URL is mandatory. Now. This is always tricky to get these URLs right. If you uh, misconfigurate them, then you will get an error. It's pretty difficult to track it down because the redirect loops and, and so forth. So let me just ask for some help from Gimlet again. This is the homepage URL and this is the authorization callback URL. And the only thing that remains is I have to put here my Nginx domain. So the auth proxy is going to run under the well-known subdomain, uh, which is basically just the test domain. It says Gimlet.io, but it really should be just some dummy domain that I use for these demos. So let's just double check auth production Gimlet.io for homepage URL and auth production Gimlet.io slash auth to slash callback for the authorization callback. And I register this application and I copy the client ID and the secret. Don't worry, I will delete this app right away. I made this video so you will not be able to hack my system in any ways. So don't be st smart about it, kids. Client ID there. Right, I copy the secret. And with this configuration, and if mm, should uh, auth proxy be installed on my cluster, as usual, I save the config. Gimlet makes a commit into my Git repository. Flux will pull down to the cluster, but you know this very well by now. So 
the only task remain in the installation is to watch for the pod to pop up. Let's do that. All right, I have the proxy running and I also have an ingress for it in the infrastructure namespace, of course. And here we go. Now, this is the proxy alone. If you want to protect your application, in my case, the test F2, I need to modify its, uh, its ingress actually to check for a certain authentication header. And if it doesn't have it, to send the user through the auth redirect loop. And for that, uh, Gimlet stack has again, just a help entry. I need to place these two annotations on my ingress. So let's bring up the test app to configuration file and add the annotations. If you recall, we have placed the app into the dash apps repo and it follows a naming convention that every app goes into its own folder. Now test app two has a YAML where I use a ham release resource where I provide the values at the, at the bottom. It already has two annotations. So I'm just adding two new annotations. One is the authentication URL. And as you can see, I have to fix the, uh, the domain again. So this is the URL. It will redirect you to actually start the authentication process. And this other URL is going to be Mm, sign in URL, which I'm not quite sure what it's about, but we have to provide it. And it has some uh, variables as well to redirect, redirect us back to our application once the authentication is done. So let's make this change and commit it to Git, push to GitHub, then Flux will install it on the cluster uh, and name the commit protecting internal protecting very important internal app with GitHub login. And if I do the change, it will patch the ingress. And next time I visit the ingress end, uh, endpoint, it will ask for an authentication. So uh, let's just double check if I have the ingress patched. I can look for the presence of the new annotations. It is not there yet, but in a minute it will get there. Here we go. The new annotations with the right uh, URLs are part of the ingress. So if I visit this ingress, I should be faced with um, a login page, a well-known GitHub login page, and I'm not. Looks like I am not faced with an authentication on this browser window, but it could be that it already went through the auth and maybe the new auth app granted me access automatically, which would be odd, but we will double check shortly. Uh, let me double check this on, uh, on Google Chrome, uh, which is my other browser. And here I am faced with an authentication window. So cool, the endpoint is protected now to really double check why my Firefox uh, was not showing me this uh, window. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how to double check this social auth. So I'm closing Chrome, the protection works uh, and back to, to Firefox where in theory, uh, I should have a cookie right here telling me, I don't have anything here. No, it required a hard refresh. So that's something to be aware of. So if I authorize this as Laszlo CPH, I'm not granting any organizational access. It tells me I am forbidden. Perhaps I should have granted the Gimlet IO organization access, but let's look at it here. What does it says? I do not have ac uh, permission to access this resource, but I think I am logged in. So back to first just to debug uh, back to gimlet dash and check if i am logged in on this page 
I am, it says it's unauthor unauthorized. So let me go through the authentication process again. Now, how to remove that, uh, how to log out uh, from a social auth. Uh, it's, you can do that on GitHub in the settings. You can see what apps you have granted. So applications, authorized auth applications, and somewhere it should say my demo app. Yeah, it was right there. Auth to proxy demo. Um, I could revoke the access uh, and go through the authentication again, which I'm going to do right now. So I revoke the access and I'm facing the authorization window where I explicitly grant access to my Gimlet.io stuff because that was our, our condition that I need to be part of Gimlet.io. I authorize Laszlo CPH and I'm able to view the application. So with some detours, we were able to protect our application. The configuration was very lightweight. It needed uh, an installation of the auth proxy, as you remember back in, uh, in Gimlet Dash. Uh, after I provided the secrets and everything, the installation was, was, uh, was up and running. And then I needed to uh, add two annotations uh, right on my application, basically telling the ingress to redirect me through GitHub and uh, basically go through the social auth. And once I did that, uh, things were working fine in Google Chrome, but they needed a hard refresh in Firefox. And ever since the hard refresh, a refresh it was working fine. Uh, and I needed to grant access to my uh, organization as well because I required organization access. And just one final thing to debug the auth. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the user info endpoint and I can showcase that I am, the proxy really knows who I am. As you can see, Yes, user and email is right there. And uh, yeah, that's that. Thank you for watching.